Hello, my name is Scott Radburn. I'm applying to the BA Acting course at Liverpool Institute of Performing Arts. I've chosen this course due to its reliance on practical study and vocational training. I will be performing monologues from Shakespeare's Hamlet, Act 3, Scene 2, James Butterworth's Jerusalem, who I will be playing the character of Rooster, and my own self pen monologue called A Royal Press Night. I hope you enjoy. From Shakespeare's Hamlet, Act 3, Scene 2, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take action against a sea of troubles and by opposing them ends them, to die, to sleep, no more. And by sleep we say we end the heartache and a thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation, devoutly to a wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come, we shed off this mortal coil. It must give us pause. And there's the respect that makes calamity of such long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely? The pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the patient merit that the unworthy takes. When he himself can make with a quietness, with a bare bodkin, for who would fardels bear to, to grunt and sweat upon a weary life? But the despair of something after death. For whose country born, no traveller returns. Jez Butterworth's Jerusalem, who I'll be playing the character of Rooster. I have seen a lot of strange things in this wood. I've seen a plague of frogs, of bees, of bats. I've seen a rainbow hit the earth and set fire to the ground. I've seen the air go still and all sounds stop. And a golden stag clear this clearing. <laughs> Fourteen point antlers of solid gold. I've heard oak trees cry. I've heard beeches sing hymns. I've seen a man they buried in the churchyard on Friday, sitting under a beech, eating an apple. <laughs> then the light goes and I stare out into the trees. There's always a pair of eyes watching. Foxes, uh, badgers, ghosts. I have seen a lot of ghosts. I've seen women burn love letters, men dig holes in the dead of night. I've seen a young girl come down here in the cold dawn, take all her clothes off, and give birth to a baby boy. I've seen first kisses, last kisses, the whole world passing by, laughing, crying, talking to themselves. Elves and fairies, you say? Elves and fairies. And my own cell pen monologue called A Royal Press Knight. I have here a royal apology from His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, after his devastating crash on January 17th. Our 97-year-old prince has this to say. Dear public, they... They fucking hit me, meaning it's not my fault, sod off. We would like to disclose that the Prince was doing the 140 mile an hour speed limit of the Sandringham Estate and was not seen driving out of seatbelt after the incident. Unfortunately, it is our royal family's decision to take away his licence. As soon as he comes out of his fortified rooms. The key in question uh, sustained very minor damage, whereas our 
Prince's Land Rover sustained massive damage after receiving improvements such as a roll cage and improved transmission. The Land Rover in question took it took minimal to maximum damage with paint flex and scratches, whereas the Kia only ended up in a ditch, very close to Her Majesty's formal arrangements. So we'll open up to questions. Um, Unfortunately, we have to cut this here as our print is left the window open.